It also beyond Bangladesh Bureau Chief Saad Hamadi has spoken to the former Bangladesh Ambassador to Myanmar, Anup Kumar Chakma. Let's listen to what he had to say. issue of the Rohingyas, it has been existing for, for many decades now, mm -hmm. and we've heard that a citizenship law had revoked the identity or the nationality of the Rohingyas in Myanmar. Now, why is this crisis persisting for such a long time? Well, thank you very much. Uh, the point is, I don't want to go back to the history. I will start from uh, the time the citizenship law 1982 came into effect. After this law came into effect, what did the uh, government of Myanmar did? They withdrew these citizenship cards of the, these people, uh, called, people called Rohingya. They claimed themselves to be Rohingyas. Uh, withdrew their citizenship cards and uh, issued them with white cards. They called temporary residency cards. And then they asked them to apply for citizenship as per citizenship law 1982. Now the, pro the major problem here is in the new law, 1982 citizenship law, the ethnic group that they claim themselves to be, to belong to, the Rohingya, is not there in the list of ethnic groups. One th there are 135 ethnic groups as per the citizenship law 1982. 135. But Rohingyas are not there in that list. The Bangladesh government very recently we've heard that has offered a military cooperation to Myanmar authorities to fight the insurgents over there and perhaps bring a solution. But if you could share with us, will that really bring a solution that has been in crisis for such a long time? Yeah, we have been, Bangladesh has been trying to resolve this issue uh, diplomatically through bilateral discussions by having the international community, community involved in this, in the process, but nothing is working. And I must say, if this situation is allowed to continue to fester like this, I'm afraid our relations with Myanmar will be, will, will be adversely affected. Clearly, the, these nationals who have not, who have, whose citizenship have been revoked do not really have papers to identify themselves as citizens of Myanmar. So under the circumstances, how can they prove their identity once they have entered into Bangladesh? Do they remain in Bangladesh forever or would there be a resolution in sight? That's why I've been saying for the last few day days that once they come across the situation, the whole issue will be more complex. Because at that time, these people who come across out from Myanmar, for them it will be very, very difficult to prove their identity. I mean, I mean that they belong to Myanmar, it will be because they will not have any documents. If I stand up today and say that I am an American, will America accept me? Do you think that the problem would have been, I mean, uh, just solved right away? No problem would have been more co complex because 400,000 here without being able to prove their ident Myanmar identity remaining here and then they are weak there 800,000 50% gone only 400,000 would have been there they would have been weaker so let them be there uh, as many as possible and then do everything possible to, to, uh, to uh, have their rights established, citizenship rights established. Without being citizen, they, they will have all kinds of difficulties, like they will have restriction on movement, 
they will have no access to education, they will not have no access to health care, so they will continue to live under uh, such difficult conditions. So what I'm saying, uh, solution does not lie in their coming into Bangladesh or going somewhere else from a kind of state. The solution lies in their being there and voicing strongly for uh, establishing their citizenship right there, being in, being in Myanmar. Okay. General Anup Kumar Changpa, thank you so much for joining us and sharing your perspective.